If you want your life to go a particular way, you have to follow the rules of the Bible. You have to. You may be able to get money, expensive things, and stuff like that, but what are those things if you don't have peace? What are those things if you have chaos in your home? What are those things if, like, if you aren't pretty much happy with yourself? If you really want positive, what word am I looking for? If you are really looking for, if you really want positive, I guess, uh, results, yes. If you want positive results in your life, I believe you have no other choice but to live for Jesus Christ. Let's look up, let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So let's look up the word love. So I guess a short definition of it here, an intense feeling of deep affection. So we have to love our enemies. Yes, that person that hurts you, that person who used you, that person that manipulated you, stole from you, cheated you, all types of stuff. We have to love them. It may seem impossible but we have to do it they may they may have acted or may still act very ignorantly toward you but you still have to love them you can't hate them you can't seek revenge for them because it is wrong if you want more bad things to happen to you in your life, seek for revenge, hate people, and all that stuff there. Let's look up the word curse. A solemn utterance intended to invoke a supernatural power to inflict harm or punishment on someone or something. And then another definition is an offensive word or phrase used to express anger or annoyance. So in this verse here, it says to bless them that curse you. So pretty much when they say rude things to us, even if they were to do that witchcraft mess, trying to curse us and stuff like that, we should do the opposite. We should not react in the same way as they. We should not curse them back. We should not have bad words to say to them. We should not pretty much go toe to toe in a bad way with them. So 
hey, you are doing me evil. I am going to choose to do you good. Hey, you choose to say I am not going to prosper. I am not going to do good in life. I am going to tell you if I choose to, like uh, you are blessed. God is going to lift you up. So when you curse me, what I have to do, I have to love you and not speak in a bad way to you. We have to understand words have power. And then I believe if we use words in the wrong way, won't we reap what we sow? Okay, let's look up some more words. Let's look up um, hate, feel intense or passionate dislike for someone. As Christians, we should not have hate within us at all. So do good to them that hate you. Quite honestly, how can someone, I guess if you don't live for Jesus Christ, I guess you can hate someone. I guess it is not hard to do that, but focusing so much energy because hate, I believe hate is something that is very, very extreme. And I think in order to hate someone, I believe you have to focus so much negative energy on, I would say dislike, but hate is stronger than dislike. Like you are focus, focusing so much energy and attention in a negative way toward a person. I used to hate as well, but to even considering it now, I think it is insane. Why focus so much attention, energy, negatively on a person? Honestly, that is so strange. I guess it is usual, but don't you have better things to do? And pray for them which despitefully use you. So let's look up some words. Despitefully. Showing malicious, ill will, and a desire to hurt. Imagine that. Showing malicious, ill will, and a desire to hurt motivate motivated by spite so spite a desire to hurt annoy or offend someone and pray for them which despitefully use you so Someone using you, let's look up the word despitefully. Um, showing malicious ill will and a desire to hurt. Motivated, motivated by spite, spite. A desire to hurt, annoy, or offend someone. So pray for them which despitefully use you. When I think of someone using another, I think of someone manipulating you, manipulating you in a bad way. 
taken advantage of you because you have money or something they want. Emotional manipulation, trying to get control of you for their own wrong purposes, purposely treat you wrongly to get what they want. So people, like for instance, I know you are a very nice person, so I'm going to be mean to you, be really pushy to you, like I know you are not going to fight me, I know you are not going to call the police on me, so I am going to overstep your boundaries, I guess I can say. Because I know, you know, you're not going to do this and do that. So, I believe that, in essence, is pretty much using a person. And what the Bible says, we need to pray for those people. Not pray curses over them, but pray blessings over them. Like, for instance, this person hurt me, this person stole from me, this person manipulated me, this person did this and that, but I pray that God blesses them. I pray that they stay healthy. I pray they get what they want in life. If they don't have too many clothes, I pray that God blesses them with clothes, blesses them with money, blesses them with a good job. Like, in essence, if you see the trend in this verse here, whatever a person do to you, do the opposite. As in, if they are doing evil to you, do the opposite. If they are doing good, don't do the opposite. Like, hey, this person is doing good to me, so Kevin said, I should do the opposite, so I should do evil to them. No. If someone is doing evil to you, do the opposite. I believe in essence, this is what this verse is telling us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. Okay. So, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you so let's look up the word persecute i really hope this is making sense here so the evil a person does to you do the opposite hey i can see that you are using me but i am still going to bless you i am still going to do good to you hey i can see that you are treating me wrongly but i am going to be kind to you I am going to be gentle to you. Do the opposite if you understand what I mean. We have to do the opposite of the wrong people do to us. It doesn't matter what they do to us. It matters what we do to them. So let's look up the word persecute. Okay. Subject someone to hostility and ill treatment. So, in essence, someone treating you wrong, especially because of their race or political or religious beliefs. So, someone treating you wrongly, someone treating you in a bad way, <laughs> In essence, this verse is telling us, don't go eye for eye. Don't go tooth for a tooth. Don't get even with a person in a bad way. If someone is doing bad to you, do good to them. Kevin, that is very hard. I have trouble with that we may mess up that is understandable but we have to do the opposite we have to do the opposite of what our enemies are doing to us the wrong 
that they are doing to us. I hope this really makes sense here. Yes, we may get hurt a lot. Yes, people may steal and cheat and and especially steal. But even if someone manipulates us in a bad way, hey, I know this person is trying to live for God, so I'm going to act like this. I'm going to speak to him like this. I am going to do this and that to this person because I know that person is not going to do this and that. That is evil. That is wrong. And we all are going to reap what we sow. I don't have to get even. You don't have to get even. We just have to continue doing what is right and God will avenge us. Well, Kevin, I don't see it. You don't have to see it. It is written. If someone is doing wrong to you and you are doing good to them, what do you believe is going to happen to them? Let's go to Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, hey, you did me good, but <laughs> I don't care. I am going to do evil to you anyhow. Evil shall not depart from his house. So if you choose to do someone evil, while they are doing you good, what this is saying, evil shall not depart from your house. See, this is one of the reasons why I like living for God. God, in what I am thinking, and I may not be totally right in what I am thinking, but I believe God balances the scales. Like the scales may seem like it is tilted up for your enemy, meaning that you are the one that is putting weight on the scale, as in you are blessing your enemy, you are loving them, you are doing good for them while they are using you, while they are lying on you, while they are giving you a hard time. God, I, I truly believe God balances the scales to where he puts the weight over on the enemy's side, which can be punishments, which can be sickness, which can be hardships, which can be so many things, I believe. So all you have to do is continue doing what is right, loving your enemies, don't hold any spite. I mean, um, don't hold any hate for your enemies. Do what is right. I learned, which some people may have not learned yet, we have to be, in a sense, servants to other people. We are here not only for the well-being of ourselves, but for other people. So whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil should not depart from his house. Let's go back to Matthew 5 and 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. This is... Whew, this is a protection for us. You may say, Kevin, I don't want to do what Matthew 5 and 44 says. Why? Why don't you want to do it? 
You may say, Kevin, people are going to use me as they use you. And but didn't you see or didn't you hear what I said about Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13? I believe God balances the scales. If you are doing good for a person and they are choosing to constantly do evil to you, <laughs> evil shall not depart from their house. This is what the Bible is saying here. So by doing good for a person while they are doing evil to you, you are protected. You are protected. I believe they are going to be punished. So I believe, like I said earlier, if I said this, it's not so much about what someone is doing to you. It is about what you are doing to that other person. Because I believe we all are going to be judged. So I believe it is in our best interest to do what is right. Let me stop here. May God bless you.